Hey everyone, Indian businesses must pay stamp duty, a form of tax, while executing certain business agreements so that the transactions are legally valid and admissible in court. E-stamping is a digital process that enables businesses to quickly pay the non-judicial stamp duty to the government online. This method is simple, legally valid, convenient and is readily available on Zoho Sign via the Sign Desk integration. Some of our users have started using it as well. For those who are new, I hope this video will help you in learning more about the integration. Before we begin, there are a couple of prerequisites. First, this integration is available only in the Indian data center. Second, you must have an active ZooSign subscription with sufficient ZooSign credits. Alright, now let's see how to enable this integration. From your ZooSign dashboard, hover your cursor on settings and click integrations. You can see all the integrations listed. Search for e-stamping or click others. Now click configure. Once you enable this integration, you will be provided with an option to add your address details. This will come in handy so that you need not manually type your address every single time. That's it. You have enabled the integration in just a few clicks. So now, let's see e-stamping in action. Upload the document to Zoho Sign as usual. Click more actions and click add e-stamp. Select the stamp state. Enter the e-stamp details and you can notice a message with how many credits will be consumed is displayed. If you don't have enough credits, you can purchase more online in a few clicks. Next. You will be asked to enter the both parties' personal information. ZohoSign will automatically fill these details if you have configured it during the integration. Otherwise, you will have to enter them manually. The collected data will be present in the e-stamp challan and in the completion certificate. Click Save. Once the details are saved, you can see a small blue band over the document. Add the recipient details as usual. Click continue. Insert the needed document fields. Check the details and click send. When your recipient opens the document to sign it, they have to first agree to the terms and conditions. Once done, they can see the e-stamp chalan appended on the first page of the document which will have all the information that you, the sender, have added. Once all the information has been verified, they can start signing the document. As a sender, if you wish to, you can verify the signed document's e-stamp details in Zoho Sign. You can do so by hovering your cursor over documents in the left navigation pane Select the documents to find the digital stamping details. The same details will be present in the certificate of completion as well. Say goodbye to the highly time consuming and cumbersome physical stamping process. I hope you found this video helpful. For more help and assistance, feel free to drop a mail to support at zosign.com. See you soon in another video.